Oh, oh, hey everyone. Uh, this is uh, Chris Warren B with the uh, third Alice tutorial, and uh, don't don't pay any attention to that. That was that was nothing. That definitely was not Warzone Two. Uh, so let's get on with it. Uh, let's open up a new world. Grass texture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a little bit more advanced coding as in uh, last time we just had one thing happening all we had was the guy waving that's all so what I want to do is I want to have multiple things happening at the same time so what we're going to do in here is we're going to have a carousel in the background spinning while a sphere close to the camera spins moves forward and goes up and down all that happening at the same time so let's get started go to add objects uh... we can add the sphere oh actually i'll go back and show you where it is uh... in the local gallery scroll over to shapes and then scroll over and find class sphere and just drag it in I go back to local gallery, find the amusement park, it's the very first one, and drag the carousel in. Alright, this sphere is a little bit big, so we can resize it. Uh, all you have to do is look over here to the right. The second to last button is the resize tool. Went over that before, and just resize it. All right. Now we can click on that very first one and just move it over here. Now, let's put everything we want to happen into into down here. So, as I said, I want the sphere. I want it to turn left a full revolution. I said I wanted to make it move up a meter move down a meter, move forward, let's say five meters, while the carousel turns left a full revolution. Now if we play that, watch what happens. It turns, it moves up, it moves down, it goes forward, and then that turns. Nothing is happening at the same time so that's what we want to change so let's exit out of that and so what we're going to do is I want the sphere to turn and move forward at the same time so to do that we go down here to do together drag that up and then put both of the turn the sphere turn and the sphere move forward in there and so now if we press play it'll turn and move forward at the same time which means that it goes in circles Now that's not good so what we want to do instead is we want to make it travel in a straight line while it turns so to do that you go to where it says sphere move forward five meters click on the more thing to the right go to as seen by and just click on say the ground now what this does is that before it was its own thing it it was it was turning left and it was moving forward as a sphere so if the sphere was moving it was facing this way and it was moving forward it would move this way and as the sphere turned it would just keep going straight and it would go around in circles what as seen by does uh, it makes it so that you're making it see from another object so in this case the ground so it's going to be moving forward as the ground sees it but the sphere is still going to be turning so if I press play it's going to move forward and spin at the same time now to make this to, so we can see it turning a little bit better because it's kind of hard to see let's add a texture to the sphere so click on the sphere 
go down here to where it says properties click that go to skin textures it's right here click on that and let's just give it some random texture um, that should be fine. So now if we press play, you see it turns and moves forward as the ground sees it. But then it moves up and down separately still and then after all that the carousel turns. So let's put both the sphere move up and the smear sphere move down in the do together because we want it to move up and down, spin, and move forward all at the same time. So press play. It didn't move up and it didn't move down. The reason it didn't do any of that is because it's moving up and down at the same time. So it's not doing anything. It's canceling each other out. So what we want to do is we want to put make this happen first and then this happen. So that's where we use do in order. So drag do in order into the do together box and put both of these in there. So now what's going to happen is while the sphere is turning left and moving forward, the sphere is going to move up and down. So if we press play, there we go. Now let's let's make it so that it gets to its highest peak at about the halfway point. So to do that, all we have to do is go to Sphere, move up one meter, click on More, go to Duration, and just half it. So it's at one second, one second being the default, so go to half a second, and then do the same thing for this one. Duration, half a second. Press Play, there we go. But then once again, this still turns afterwards. So let's put this in the do together. Press play. And there we go. Everything works fine. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the next tutorial, but it's probably going to have something to do with uh, vehicle vehicling objects to each other and stuff like that. I was going to cover this one, but I'm running out of time, so I'll just cover that in the next tutorial. So, uh, hope you enjoyed looking at that, and uh, I'll see you next time.